Hey everyone, it is Rebecca and I am back today for another installment on our junk journal journey. And we are going to be making cute little embellishments for our junk journals. Just sweet little things you make out of scraps and spares and buttons and bows. Okay, join me in the studio. Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome in to this wonderful embellishment day on our junk journal journey. Hmm, that's a tongue twister, isn't it? <laughs> My husband actually came up with that little phrase um, earlier this week. He edits my blog posts on um, Rebecca E. Parsons' blog. And it's so funny because he was like, I think this, I think you are on a junk journal journey. <laughs> so I really like that. So I bought into that. So you're probably going to be hearing that phrase a lot over the next few videos or maybe it may stick. So we shall see. Okay, so today we're going to talk embellishments. And what I have done is just punch out a few different shapes squares and circles and ovals and I cut some little flags. I don't have a flag punch so I actually cut some of these from my little scrappy things. So it's a great thing to do and it's good to just kind of make batches of things um, during some days. Um, that didn't come out too well did it? But anyway to batch what you're doing. So today I am just going to take these scraps. I'm going to use them all, I hope, and I am going to make embellishments for future junk journals and altered books. And this is something I wanted to show you. Let me scoot this over here. I was doing some jelly printing, jelly plate printing the other day, and I kind of made this mess. It wasn't too pretty. So I thought, well, that there are some pretty sections in that. So look what that did when I cut these out. <laughs> Aren't those beautiful? I think that is. Um, and even some little, whoops, even some little flower designs. I have some punches for that. So anyway, don't neglect your off cuts or your oops that you do with your jelly printing because I know a lot of times we get into trouble with that because sometimes we use the wrong color combination sometimes we're out in the um, in the complementary color area which just makes a mess you know that just makes mud and so okay let's stop talking about that and let's get down to making embellishments on uh, some um, paper clips, colorful coated paper clips, and I found these the other day and actually love those. Those are very rustic looking, dark, I think they may be bronze, they may be black, I don't know, but they're beautiful pins. I'm going to use my just my old, old, and that's a really antique stapler. And I'm going to use some twines, some baker's twines that I have. And it's all about, and buttons, of course. Let's not forget our buttons over here. Okay, so let's just dive in and start creating a few of these. Okay, so I love that. I love that combination. And a lot of these are double-sided um, uh, scrapbook papers a lot of them are just one-sided so just pay attention to that but I really like that and I thought that would be nice with a nice button in there so let's see what else I can put on there to give it a little oomph that's kind of a nice piece so this is just really about fun play and you can put a, you can put things right in the center you can put things off on the side and I kind of like this is one place in in Rebecca's world where I like asymmetry so I think I kind of like let me move these out of the way so you can see what I'm actually working on I love the asymmetry of that so I think I'm going to Go with that puppy. So I like to use my little Fabri Fix for these, and just need a drop. But these will be getting wear and tear if you put them in junk journals, and they're 
used in certain places, they will be getting some wear and tear. So you need to make sure that you um, get these things fixed pretty well. Darn it. Come on. Come on, puppy. True day. And I think I want that white side over there. And glue on my fingers. But I think I like that. I like that hanging over the edge. And I think that will go great on one of these. And I didn't I didn't bring my hot glue. Darn it, I didn't get my hot glue gun wound up today. So I would have fixed that with hot glue. And hot glue and just a little um, kind of piece of paper to keep it in place. That's kind of what I like to do on the back of these, if that makes sense. Let me kind of explain that since I forgot my hot glue. I would put a little piece of paper, doesn't matter, paper or tape or anything, over the back of that and glue that down also. I would glue this with hot glue first, and then I would put that nice piece of tape or paper over the top to just give it a double security thing. I hope that makes sense. Darn it. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Some of our best laid plans, right? So let's see if I've got a cute little dark button in here. Since this is black and white. Or maybe even a little gold button. Let me see what I got in my little button box over here. Don't you love finding buttons at flea markets and Stuff. That's kind of cute, but it has a shank. I'm going to show you how to use things with a shank. One of my little tricks for that also. Darn it. I need a tiny dark button. That's kind of gray. That gives some contrast, so I like that. I am going to take a nice piece of twine and just run it through the holes. God willing. <laughs> and the creek don't rise, right? Okay, I think we've got success there. Dag nabbit. My eyes don't work as well anymore. My fingers don't work as well anymore. <laughs> this is getting sad. Okay, so I'm just going to, I'm not going to go through all four holes on that make you watch this video for an hour and a half. I'm just going to tie a nice little bow in there. Hopefully. That took way more time than I wanted to, guys. Sorry about that. It has been one of those weeks for me. If you've been watching these videos this week, it's kind of been a fumbly bumbly week for me. Everything that could go wrong did. So let me just cut that just a little bit. And I think that's pretty darn cool. I say that a lot, don't I? <laughs> I'm proud of myself sometimes when I get these things done. And, of course, that would attach beautifully to one of these um, paper clips. Or we can just do this. So I'm going to call that one done. And where shall I put it? I will put it up there. And let's try to make another couple while we're on, um, on time. I think I'll make a flag this time. That's a pretty flag just all by itself. I think I'm just going to leave that one alone, darn it. But we can make a flag out of this one. And see what we can do. Two or three layers. Let's see if we can get some fun stuff going here. Actually, sometimes I do this and make a double one. And that's kind of cool, isn't it? I like this because this kind of had that little scalloped edge back there. So I think I'm liking that. We're going to go with that. 
we are going to go with it. Put that down there. I want that a little skew. Like I said, you won't see me being asymmetric very often, but this is one of those times when I'm going to be a little asymmetric. Go for it, Rebecca. See where I want that? And I think that's kind of cute, right like that. And again, we can dress that up with words or stamping or other things like that. But I'm not going to get into that today. I'm just going to batch make these. So I'm going to put these together as quickly as I can. And then I am going to, uh, when I put them in a book, sometimes I will embellish them further when they get to that step. So let's see what else we can get into. I love this little polka dot and the square. And what else have we got down here? We've got some hearts. We've got some cute little hearts. Oh, that's a cute one. How about that? That is totally rocking it. <laughs> I'm liking it. So let's get some nice little, and if there is a little bump or hump on one of your punches, that's a good place to put another embellishment over the top, isn't it? A really good time to hide some of those boo-boos that we make. So I'm loving, loving, loving that. Does it need a button? Does it need a button? Oh, yeah, I think that one goes right there pretty well. Let's see if I can thread this any better this time, folks. And actually, we don't have to do this. We wouldn't have to. But I kind of like that extra embellishment. So since that worked, I'm going to go through. Hold your breath. Aha! Just keep going, Rebecca. <laughs> Bless my soul! Sometimes making these videos is... A little crazy because I want to get my nose right into something and then I don't want to get my head in front of the camera so you can see the gray hairs. <laughs> First time I, I brought my head into a video and I saw those little gray hairs in my in my hair I was like really shocked. I'm like there's a lot of those things in there. Okay. Can't chew gum and Tie knot the same time at the same time. I was talking to my niece last night, and she was saying she, she was in dyeing her hair. She's got lovely dark hair, and she said, "I always wanted blonde hair and blue eyes." And I said, "And I would trade you right now to have totally gray hair, because my hair just keeps getting darker." And that makes me sad. Okay. That's kind of cute. Looks like Mickey Mouse, but hey, we'll go with it. And sometimes you might want to hot glue these buttons and stuff on there, too, since they're a little bulky. You might want the extra security of some hot glue on that. And I may leave that tail hanging long. I may leave a long one on that. So there we go. We've got another one. We're rolling here. And let's just make one more for the heck of it. I'm loving that. I love that little fella. Let's find something to put him on. That's kind of cool. 
too much flowers. Don't want that many flowers. But isn't this fun? It is just fun to get in here and play and make these things. And it's your whole day can while away when you're <laughs> in your studio having fun like that. I think I like that. So we're going to call that one designed. Do you ever call yourself a designer? Hmm? Did you ever think of yourself that way as an artist? And when you're designing books and junk journals and altered books, I really kind of think um, that we are designers. Absolutely. So that's kind of cute. Kind of cute, cute, cute. So I think I've got five or so there. I think we're doing a good job today. Oh. And there's one that really got wonky. I have a have a um, punch with scalloped edges that just doesn't work well anymore. So it kind of just makes me sad. <laughs> but. I spent the morning trying to um, get it refurbished, so to speak, by putting it through tinfoil first, stamping with foil, because that kind of sharpens an old punch, and then putting it through wax paper, which kind of greases it or oils it. So I made a lot of these, trying to get that punch back. Just get it back. I love that shape, but it was not, not very happy this morning. And there's an interesting button. Oh, that's kind of cool. I think that one's just going to get glued on. And again, you might want to choose hot glue. Too much glue, too much glue. Glue alert <laughs> on your fingers. Love those baby wipes. Okay, so I think you got the idea here about what we're going for. And I also have some tiny little paper clips that I use sometimes and put them on and um, other things. So just be creative. Find some stuff around your house to use. Play with it. If you've got punches, punch things out. If you don't, just cut them out or just use scraps that you have got laying around. I've got some, some of these cut out um, little tiny tag shapes that I like to use also. I love that one. That's going to be the next one I play with. So I'm going to continue. After we get off of here, I've gone long enough today and with the jibber jabber on our junk journaling journey. So get into your contagious creativity and pass it on, folks. And I will be back tomorrow with another fun junk journaling tutorial. And this is Rebecca and... May joy be with you all. Hey everyone, it's Rebecca, and I am back today for another installment in our Junk Journey Journal. That's wrong. 